Nervous systems consist of circuits of neurons and supporting cells. Cnidarians are the simplest animals with nervous system. Their neurons are arranged in interconnected nerve nets, but there is no central pathway or directional organization. More complex animals have nerves, which are bundles that consist of the axons of multiple nerve cells. For example, sea stars have a set of radial nerves connecting to a central nerve ring. Bilaterally symmetrical animals exhibit civilization, which is the clustering of sensory organs at the front end of the body. Relatively simple cephalized animals such as flatworms have a central nervous system, which consists of a brain and longitudinal nerve cords. Annelids and arthropods have segmentally arranged cluster of neurons called ganglia. In vertebrates, the central nervous system is composed of the brain and the spinal cord, whereas the peripheral nervous system is composed of nerves and ganglia. The brain and the spinal cord contain gray matter which consists of neuron cell bodies, dendrites, and myelinated axons, and white matter which consists of bundles of myelinated axons. The peripheral nervous system transmits information to and from the central nervous system and regulates movement and the internal environment. When an internal or external stimuli activates the sensory receptors, the afferent neurons transmit this information to the central nervous system, which processes this information. Then efferent neurons transmit information away from the central nervous system, back to the peripheral nervous system which has two functional components. The somatic nervous system or motor system carries signals to skeletal muscles and is voluntary. The autonomic nervous system regulates the internal environment in an involuntary manner. It includes three divisions. The enteric division controls activity of digestive tract, pancreas, and gallbladder. The sympathetic and parasympathetic divisions have antagonistic effects on target organs. The sympathetic division correlates with the fight or flight response, whereas the parasympathetic division promotes a return to rest and digest. The sympathetic nervous system dilates our pupil, inhibits salivary gland, relaxes bronchi and lungs, accelerates heart, inhibits our digestive system, stimulates the adrenal medulla, which produces the neurotransmitters epinephrine and norepinephrine, also known as adrenaline and noradrenaline. On the other hand, parasympathetic nervous system constricts pupil of eye, stimulates salivary gland secretion, constricts bronchi and lung, slows the heart, stimulates the digestive system, stimulates emptying of the bladder, and uses the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. The central canal of the spinal cord and the ventricles of the brain are hollow and filled with cerebrospinal fluid, which is filtered from blood and functions to cushion the brain and spinal cord. The nervous system of vertebrates and most invertebrates also include glial cells or glia, which have numerous functions. Radial glia play a role in embryonic development of the nervous system. Astrocytes induce the formation of a blood-brain barrier that regulates the chemical environment of the central nervous system. It also regulates extracellular ions and neurotransmitter as well as provide a structural support for neurons. Microglia protect the nervous system from microorganisms. Oligodendrocytes form the myelin sheaths around axons in the central nervous system, whereas strong cells form the myelin sheath of the peripheral nervous system. Lastly, ependymal cells promote circulation of the cerebrospinal fluid. The spinal cord conveys information from the brain to the peripheral nervous system. It also produces reflexes independently of the brain. A reflex protects the body by providing a rapid involuntary response to a particular stimulus. For example, in a knee-jerk reflex, the tendon connected to the quadricep muscle is artificially tapped, which stimulates the muscle spindle to send this information to the spinal cord by the sensory neurons through the dorsal root ganglia. In response to signals from the sensory neurons, the motor neurons convey signals to the quadriceps causing it to contract and jerking the lower leg forward. Signals from the sensory neurons also reaches the interneurons, which inhibits the motor neurons that lead to the hamstring muscle, preventing the contraction of hamstring, which would resist the action of quadriceps. 